right now you're only detained, all right? Only because there was an AR-15 sitting in the back of your car. UF football players, an assault rifle, and the police. First Coast News requested dash cam and body camera footage from Gainesville Police as part of our ongoing investigation. And tonight, Juliet Dreyer has your first look at the new video. Heather, in that body camera video of the July 22nd incident, wide receiver Kadarius Tony immediately identifies himself as a football player. The whole interaction with police lasts about 15 minutes from the time police first approach the car to when they're getting ready to let Tony and teammate Brian Edwards go. Good, man. You can't keep an AR in the car like that. You That's the first audio captured on the night of July 22nd. According to the police report first obtained by First Coast News, Gainesville police pulled over Kadarius Tony and Brian Edwards for a seatbelt violation. The two, according to the report, initially didn't stop for police. Also, he didn't, he didn't stop right away, which freaked me out. In the video, police are immediately unsure whether to arrest the two, repeatedly discussing amongst themselves open carry laws and whether the rifle could be considered, quote, easily accessible. As I explained to you right now, you're only detained, all right? Only because there was an AR-15 sitting in the back of your car. Tony told police he bought the assault rifle from a local gun store. While the audio is difficult to understand, you can hear Tony explaining it's for protection from locals. Protection. In the end, neither Tony nor Edwards was arrested. In a statement to First Coast News, Gainesville police say, quote, we consulted with the state attorney and our own in-house legal counsel. Based on their legal training and experience, charges were not warranted. We have repeatedly asked UF's athletics department whether any players will be suspended for any of the incidents we've reported on in the last week. We have not gotten a response, but tomorrow we are hitting the road to Gainesville and taking our questions straight to the top, and we'll have updates all day on air and online. Reporting live, Juliet Dreyer, First Coast News on your side.